and he said nobody called him, but I'm like, my nigga, like, we haven't even, like, for one, just to set the record straight, I haven't spoken to Busy ever since. I haven't spoke to Busy. The last time I spoke to Busy Bo, period, was maybe two, two to three months before I was in the hospital. I didn't speak to Busy the entire time I was in the hospital. I still have not spoken to Busy since I've been home from the hospital. Not one time. What's up, everybody? This is the world famous Ed Lover, and you are watching Forgotten Kings TV. That's right, Forgotten Kings TV. Come on, son. Crazy Bone is back outside again, and this time he's here to set the record straight. Moments ago, Crazy Bone took to IG to give an update on his health ever since surviving that major health scare last year. As you all know, Crazy Bone had to be rushed to the hospital after he was coughing up blood. And it was at that point a lot of fans were just praying for, you know, Crazy Bone and wishing him a full recovery. However, uh, now that Crazy has, uh, you know what I mean, recovered, he's back outside again. He's doing shows with Bone Thugs and Harmony. And for some reason, Busy Bone isn't with the group. All right. A couple months ago, Busy put out a video addressing his absence from the group. Um, and now fans are just conflicted as to what's going on, right? Is it internal conflict? Is the group not messing with Busy? So moments ago, Crazy Bone took to IG to address Busy Bone's comments and just let the world know, listen, I'm going to love my brother regardless. Okay, so y'all know how we do, man. Let's check out this clip. Make sure to leave your thoughts and comments down in the section below. And yeah, man, that's all I got for y'all today. My name is Sensei Rip. Till next time. Peace. What's happening? What's happening, y'all? Oh, shit, y'all. What's going on with it? I'm good. I'm good. How y'all doing? How y'all doing? What's good? What's good, y'all? How y'all doing? How y'all doing? What's up, Australia? What's good, y'all? <laughs> it makes me put lazy bone that I don't I don't know what lazy bone that <laughs> What's happening? Seattle in the building, what's good, what's good? Yeah, what's happening, y'all? Oh see, you got an operation? Damn, wish you the best. Wish you the best. How's my health going? My health is going all right. I'm actually in New Jersey right now. You know what I'm saying? I'm flying. I'm back flying. I took a flight today. First long flight. You know what I'm saying? I'm, uh, I'm back on the move, man. I'm back on the move. I'm back up. Feel good. <clears throat> You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm up back on the move. I didn't cut my hair. What you talking about? I cut it just like Lay. Whenever Lay cut his, I cut mine. I'm just playing. No, my hair's still here. I ain't cut it yet. Don't be surprised though when I come on and it's... The hell is that? Is that rain? Hold on. The nigga, it's talking about somebody. Oh, damn. It just started raining like... Crazy out here, son. Oh, it started raining. I just came in. I just came in the 
<clears throat> just got in from outside. But yeah, you know, I, I, I took my first flight, my long, you know, my, my first flight today, man, it was, it was cool, it was cool, you know what I'm saying, it feel, huh? No, but I, yeah, I, I took my first uh, flight today, it was cool, I'm back, I feel like I'm back. I feel like I feel like I'm back. I feel like I'm back. Solo tour? No, no, I'm not solo tour. I actually got a show tomorrow with the group in shit. Where are we at? Boston, Worcester, Massachusetts. I'll be at a little dispensary tomorrow for a meet and greet for four thirty to six thirty p.m. Y'all make sure y'all be there if you're in the area. I'll be there, but yeah. Rock, what's happening, baby? No vamp. <laughs> what's happening? Ghetto Cow, hey, bro, we back at it, man. Ghetto Cowboy, we back at Yo, bro, they been asking about it all out here and everything, bro. We got to get back on it ASAP. Oh yeah, we coming to Australia. Vamp, vamp. Will busy be performing? Y'all gotta ask busy, man. Y'all gotta ask busy. You gotta ask busy if he'll be performing with Bone. I heard, I heard he did a little, little interview saying that. Um, yeah, that's one thing I want to clear up now. Wait a minute. He did a little. He he did an interview talk, saying that uh, that we. He said we didn't even call him to come. Uh, to come be a part of the. Uh, 30 year anniversary. No, but I'm just saying. <laughs> he said, <laughs> Rock, you a fool. <laughs> you a fool. <laughs> but no, but I'm just saying, I'm just saying what I heard. You know what I'm saying? So he said that we didn't even call him to be a part of the 30 year anniversary. But my thing is this, nigga, ain't this your group too? This is your group as well. Why do we have to call you? If you see that there's a bone show on the bill, I know if I see it's a bone show, I ain't finna call these niggas and be like, hey, nigga, can I come show up and rap with y'all? No, nigga, I'm just gonna show up and bust up on that motherfucker and get to rapping and singing. We ain't never told nobody they can't come and, you know what I'm saying, and, and perform with us. My nigga, like, As we always hear, my nigga, Bone Thugs and Harmony, you see us representing to the fullest. Crazy, lazy, wish flesh. Always. You know what I'm saying? And like, like my nigga, and he said nobody called him, but I'm like, my nigga, like, we haven't even... Like for one, just to set the record straight, I haven't spoken to Busy ever since. I haven't spoke to Busy. The last time I spoke to Busy Bone, period, was maybe two, two to three months before 
I was in the hospital. I didn't speak to Busy the entire time I was in the hospital. I still have not spoken to Busy since I've been home from the hospital. Not one time. No call. Hey, nigga, how you doing? Glad you made it. You still alive? Or, nigga, fuck you. Fuck you, you know? Like, nothing. So, like, I don't understand where all this is coming from. Like, niggas ain't calling you. We've all been around each other this whole time. My bone niggas was in the studio. I mean, not the studio. My my bone niggas was in the hospital. I woke up to my niggas being in the hospital. I didn't see him. My niggas cut everything they was doing. They cut everything they was doing. They cut everything they was doing. Whether they was doing a show, a business deal, whatever they was doing, they cut it. Them niggas was in the hospital with me. I have not seen Busy. I have not talked to Busy at all. So when I see these videos, I'm like, my nigga, like, I, like, man, you ain't even talk. So I hope you're not addressing those videos to me because <laughs> I haven't even spoke to you, my nigga. Like, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, and on top of that, on top of all that, I'm still not mad at this nigga. <laughs> like, like people be like, oh, nigga, you should be angry at this nigga, my nigga. I'm not, I don't care about that, my nigga. You feel me? I'm not even tripping, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? Like, but don't make it seem like niggas don't want you around. Don't, don't, like, we shouldn't play that game. Because we've always said that our doors are revolving. Only reason they don't revolve is if you don't walk through them. And that's all I can say about that situation there. So... All them videos and all that. Like, like, and that's another thing. All them videos and all that shit niggas putting in my nigga. You got all, every single one of our numbers. You, you have our phone numbers. You have our social medias or what, however niggas communicate these days. But you have our phone numbers. Why go around us and go through social media when you can call me? Well, you can call Lay, you can call Flesh, you can call Wish, you can call your brothers. You can call your brothers. You feel me? And we can talk. We can talk like men. Everybody ain't got to be in our business. Everybody ain't, we ain't got to go to social media to let niggas know. We ain't seeing eye to eye, nigga. I mean, that's cool, you know, but we ain't got to do that. And I ain't going to erase this. I ain't, I ain't erasing this uh, live like I erase all of them. I want niggas to see it. Straight up. So what's happening? I mean, y'all been in the business, you know? And, and, and look, y'all, I don't want niggas to take this, like, nigga coming at him, because it ain't, like, that's my brother. That nigga's my brother, and he always going to be my brother, whether he like it or not, nigga. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He going to be my brother, 
Nigga, we brothers for life. But like, it's just certain things that need to be spoke upon. You know, like, I'm not finna like sit back and like, like nigga acting like, you know, we the ones that's doing this and we the ones that's this and that. And my nigga, we the ones that's here. We the ones that's here. No matter what bullshit we have to go through, we chose to go through it together. Crazy, lazy, wish flesh. We chose to struggle together. We didn't say, oh, nigga, fuck y'all niggas. Bone ain't, I'm finna go struggle by myself. No, we getting through this struggle together. We came in together. We go end it together. Straight up. So that's what it is. For, 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 for people that want to know, you know what I'm saying? I just didn't. Just didn't want to sit back and not, nigga. Now that I'm back out, I, I'm back up moving and grooving. I'm in the sky again. I'm on the move again, nigga. Look here, nah, nigga. For real, niggas can come to the table whenever they ain't. Ain't nobody holding you back. Like you said in the video, one main, th one key point. When you said, I'm just going to do me, my nigga, that's what niggas been doing. You been doing you. We been stepped back, let you do you, my nigga. Like, so why, why, but we, we, we shouldn't have to invite you to your own party. We, we shouldn't have to invite you or remind you that you have a party. This is our 30 year anniversary. You are the one. If I'm not mistaken, you are the one that was telling people 2024, me and my brothers, me and my brothers in 2024, we're getting back together. I didn't say it. Lay didn't say it. Flesh and Wish didn't say it. You said it. 2024 is here, halfway gone. I'm here. Lazy's here. Wish is here. Flesh is here. We're here. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. Straight up. So, all that, like, talking and, uh, you know, trying to make the fans take sides. Let's stop all that shit. Our legacy is getting away while we play games. Straight up. I've been granted a new lease on life. I'm not wasting that beef in or None of that bullshit, my nigga. If we moving, we moving. Whoever's down the road, let's roll. Whoever ain't, catch up. If you never catch up, oh well. It is what it is. The legacy don't stop. It cannot stop. The legacy is bigger than Crazy Bone. The legacy is bigger than Lazy Bone. The legacy is bigger than Busy Bone. It's bigger than flesh. It's bigger than wish. Straight up. Understand God is who put us together. And that's the reason it ain't going right. <laughs> Straight up. I just came... All fell together.
It don't. It don't. So that's what I'm saying. So, you know, like I said, I'm not going to erase the line. But if y'all happen to talk to Bessie before I talk to her, tell niggas just hit me up, my nigga. Like, I don't, I don't even understand. Like, and I'm gonna keep it 100. Like, I don't, now nah, you know what I'm saying. Like, none of this shit is necessary. For real. It's not necessary for you to have to go and tell people that we haven't even called you to be a part of the 30 year anniversary. When you told people yourself, 2024, we're back together. So why should we have to call you? You initiated this. We just showed up. Twenty twenty four. We here. I'm just saying. I'm back on the streets, baby. I'm back outside. Hi hey guys, shop with my boy Chick Smooth at chicksmooth.shop. Y'all know the M Rec Room etiquette. Peace, you now tuned in to MREC TV. Someone wasn't on protocol. There are consequences. <laughs> <laughs> It's your boy, Reggie Curl, you know what I'm saying? This is my cousin, Troncho, you know what I'm saying? He's coming by. No, I know me, old <laughs> you from the lambskin condoms. I didn't even want my man to eat my because I eat meat from Aldi's. The f wrong with you? Aldi's, you should eat this. We don't know what the f that meat is. Yeah! in prison. That's not the, the part about it. The part about it is he had the audacity to ask me why I ain't helping my <laughs> There ain't no point of both of us get <laughs> I step up, look him right in his eyes. <laughs> he go to pat me down. $20, homeboy. I'm like, <laughs> No, sir! Yeah! <laughs> 